Well, hello guys, it's Brittany McCowan. Thank you for tuning into my channel. So as you know, I've been kind of going through these Shea Moisture collections. It is my challenge to get through all 24. Um, at the two thirds mark, I did say I wanted to slow down a little bit, you know, since I got through 16 and I have the final eight. I wanted to start getting into style of videos, so I did a twist out video. And I did another twist out video, then I wanted to spice it up, and I did like a braid out twist out where it was like half braid, half twist. And so now I want to attempt to do a full braid out. If you watched my hair confidence video, I've never been confident enough to wear a full braid out because I feel like it gives you volume, but at the same time, it's like not very defined. And you know, I've always wanted to like show definition, you know, for my kinks and coils here. So, um, I've decided that I'm going to do two in one. I'm going to do half one side um, fruit fusion coconut water weightless styling mousse and then the other half is going to be dragon's blood and coffee cherry volume plus styling foam because I'm not you know a, a foam person a mousse person so I just said hey we're just going to do kind of like a battle of the mousses kind of versus we go ahead and knock this on out. So the items we have here for our stylers are the styling foam, the frizz free mousse, the texture spray, the lifting spray, and then the texture clay. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this to the roots. Dragon's Blood and Coffee Cherry Volume Plus Lifting Spray with Black Current and Borash Oils Lift and Plump Up. Flat Thinning Hair and Rich Lift and Plump Up Dull Tresses or Temporarily Thinning Hair Due to Stress or Fatigue with this Revitalizing Spritz. Healing Dragon's Blood, Coffee Cherry Extract and Certified Organic Shea Butter Combined in this Root Lifting Formula that coats each strand, plumps up hair, holds style for fullness, movement, and hair turning volume. Instruction spray on damp hair, concentrating on the root style as desired. And then we're gonna backdoor with the Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Texture Spray with Embe Oil and Aloe Fine and Medium Hair, Tussle, Boost, and Hold. And this weight lifting styling spray delivers a balance of body and definition for an effortless, lasting, tussled look. Certified organic shea butter and coconut water blend with our proprietary few fusion to nourish and energize lifeless hair. Vitamin rich embe oil blocks humidity to help control frizz with aloe and add shine. Shake well, spray on damp hair or dry hair from root to end. Shape with fingers, air dry or diffuse. I think that this will probably be like a finishing spray when I'm taking them down. And then this Dragon's Blood and Coffee Cherry Volume Plus Texturizing Clay. Add texture and medium hold to second day hair to refresh styles absorbing kaolin and bionite clays, which whisk away excess oils and impurities. Healing Dragon's Blood, Coffee Cherries, Extract and Certified Organic Shea Butter combined in this satin finish paste that adds texture and hold with perfect styling flexibility, washes out easily. So because this is a second day refresher, obviously we're gonna style, we're going to have our serum for takedown, and then we're gonna have our second day refresher. So let's go ahead and get started. You know how I do, I'll do a couple in the front and then go off camera, finish the rest, come back for the takedown so you can see you know, my braids and, you know, the volume that it gives me, all that good stuff. So, I'm going to start with the root lifting spray. See if it gives my braids more volume, maybe. Going to detangle. And I'm going to hit it with the mousse. I'm not sure how much is enough here. I did get this idea from a another uh, video I saw because I'm not like a wash and go person or use 
phone to crinkle the hair. So she said that she used hers as a leave-in slash styler for a braid out. The braid out is I kind of feel like you have to twist the ends. You can't just kind of let it lengthen. Detangle. Take my section, get my mousse, detangle. I can smell the alcohol in the mousse. Spray the relifter. I'm gonna give y'all one more because I try to give y'all four in each video. So I've got my four and I will come back for part two or I should say the slide to the next screen where you see all my hair braids or plaits, whichever you choose to call them. And then we're going to do the takedown and I'm going to insert my pictures at the end when it's fucked up. Alright guys, so I'm trying something different. Um, usually. I record with the camera not facing me so you could see my whole background, but I want to make sure that you get, you know, a close up on my texture. So I flipped the camera the opposite way so you could see so I don't have to insert pictures this time. This is my first braid out. I did like a small braids just to be on the safe side. I feel like if I did the big ones, they would have poofed out. So I did not film the takedown like I usually do, but this is the takedown. I have not fluffed them out. All I did was take down my braid out and I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Um, I felt like it had a lot of definition. I did use the mousse. This side was the Dragon Blood and Coffee Cherry. This side was the Fruit Fusion Weightless. I did use the, um, I used the Weightless Texture Spray, which really it felt like it was nothing on my hair. I started to backdoor with another finishing spray, but I said for the purpose of this video, I'm not. So for me, the Texture Spray is a no, but I mean, I guess you already knew that. So I just wanted y'all to see, this is the side. This is the top. This is my braid out. I will attempt another braid out, just obviously with different products that provide more moisture. So. This concludes my battle of the mousse video. I'm not a big fan of mousse, but I did use it for the purpose of this leave-in slash styler for the braid out. And like I always say, like, comment, and subscribe.